started off by masking certain areas where I knew that later on as the painting developed, I'd be glad I'd still got white paper. I then painted the sky in, keeping the colours nice and light and putting in those distant trees while the sky was still damp so we got that soft diffused shape. I then indicated the shape of some distant cypresses which echoed the ones in the middle distance and took your eye across those fields. I made a few marks with some burnt umber and the rake brush to suggest the ploughing shape across the fields and I made sure that the direction of my brush strokes reminded the viewer of the shape and undulations of the land. Then we came to the buildings and you could see how important shadow was to make them look three dimensional and solid. Then we had that nice bright area across the foreground right at the base of the buildings rapidly darkening that towards the front of the picture to give that feeling of distance. And the cylindrical shapes that were provided by the hay bales were an important addition, a little bit of extra interest in the scene.